Hello and welcome back to another Korean food taste test. Today we have japagetti, which kind of sounds like Japanese spaghetti, but I don't think that's where the word comes from. I don't know why it's called japagetti. I guess if you Google it, you'll be able to find out, but I just don't really care that much. So we're just going to eat it. Now, as you can see from the picture, it's kind of like a dark brownish noodle, noodle soup. But I think the picture, you know, the picture always looks really good compared to the actual product. We have carrots and peas, but I really don't think there's going to be carrots and peas in here. So we'll make this and see if it looks anything like this picture. Ugh, it's dirty. Didn't wash my frying pan. Okay, so I washed my frying pan. It's okay if there's water in it because we're boiling these noodles. And where are my scissors? Japagetti in my belly. Do, 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 do. Do. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's interesting how it's a circle shape. Usually ramen is like a rectangle shape. It fits directly into the frying pan really nicely. What else do we have? We've got some japagetti powder, very important. And we've got some dried vegetables, flakes, vegetable flakes. And we've got this olive oil. What? Why is there olive oil? Why would I put olive oil into ramen? Okay, so this is how I like to prepare ramen. I'll show you my secrets. First of all, you get the powder. And that goes straight in. Whoa, it's very black. It looks like dirt. Look at that. It's like dirt. Ooh. And then next we get the vegetables. <laughs> I don't think it's going to look like the picture. Look at the picture. In the picture, we have fresh looking carrots and peas and then reality. Ugh. What is that? Look at these. Are these the carrots? Can I focus? No, I cannot. There we go. Look at the carrot. It's just like a flake. And I don't even know what these are. They look like rabbit pellets, rabbit food. Focus. Ah. Anyway, it's instant ramen. What do you expect? You're not going to get fresh vegetables in instant ramen. And I don't know if I want to use this. Oh, it just drips all over the place. It doesn't smell like olive oil. I don't think it is olive oil. But why does it say olive oil on the label? I don't know. Where's my tissue paper? Look, I spilt it. Okay, so next we bring it over to the kitchen station. We need some water. How do I put the water in? Like this. Well, it's very heavy. And then we need lighting and then fire. Turn this off. Should take a few minutes. See you then. So whilst we're waiting, I wanted to give you an update on what's happening with the Japanese girl. So if you watched, which video did I talk about the Japanese girl? I think it was the McDonald's video. You know, I was saying that it was a trick and her account on Instagram vanished. Guess what happened? A few days later, she made a new account, sent me a new message, and she explained what happened. She said that her boyfriend, yeah, this is a surprise to me. Apparently she has a boyfriend. Anyway, her boyfriend found out that we were chatting to each other and then he demanded that she tell him the password and then he deleted her account on Instagram and they had a fight. And then she made a new account, but she's still coming anyway. And they don't live together or 
it's not a very good relationship. I don't know. She said that they don't really see each other much anyway. So it's not like it's a proper relationship. I don't know if I should believe this story. It sounds kind of fishy, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure she's real because I asked her to send me voice messages and I asked her to say specific things and she said them. And I asked her to make this sign with her hands and take a photo of it. She did. And she's taken several other photos and it's all the same person, you know, the same mattress, the same body. So I'm convinced she's real. Now, I don't know if she's actually going to come. She said she'll take a picture of herself when she's arrived at the train station. I don't know, I still feel like this is too good to be true. And I let my guard down before. And when I thought she was fake, when she disappeared, I actually felt really sad. Now I'm a bit worried that if I let my defences down again and just believe her, the same thing will happen again, then I'll feel sad again. So I don't know, I feel kind of confused about it. She's supposed to be coming tomorrow. I guess we'll find out then. It just sounds too good to be true. I have a feeling that there's going to be some kind of catch. What is the catch? I don't know yet. These noodles look very black. I think I put too much water. I think I ruined it. Hopefully it's not too diluted and it will still taste good. It smells good. It's getting soft. That is a good indication that it is cooking. Nice and soft. I don't like them too soft. I like them slightly hard. Not crunchy. But I don't like it when they go really soft. These noodles are good because they are a tiny bit like pot noodle noodles. They've got a bit of strength to them. They're not all flimsy. They don't flop about. I don't like it when the noodles are really flimsy. That's coming along very nicely. Okay, I think we're ready to serve it. Now, when I eat ramen, I don't really like the soup because it splashes everywhere and makes your chin wet. It splashes your face and burns you. So I just take the noodles out like this. There's already enough of the soup soaked into the noodles to give it flavour. So I don't really feel like it's necessary to have the soup with it. Wow, that's very pretty. The problem is we're going to have all the flakes and the vegetables in the soup and I need to sieve them out, which could be a pain. How do I get the, the vegetable flakes out? Wow, that looks really good, doesn't it? I think for the vegetable flakes... Um, how do I get them out? Do I even need them? I can get some of them out like this. Well, we have some. I don't think it's that important. Okay, let's just try them like this. I think it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, I honestly think these are the best ramen you can get in Korea. I always used to ask my ex-Korean girlfriend to send them to me. Korean people love sending food overseas, don't they? I had this other Korean friend as well, a girl, and she would send me these big boxes of Korean food. Food of snacks and stuff. 
Oh, I remember Sayaka did that as well. She sent me a big box of Japanese snacks. It used to make me feel really good. Like I had a proper girlfriend who cared about me. It's nice when people care about you, isn't it? I might need a spoon. It's a bit like spaghetti. You know, actually, I think a fork might be better. It's called japaghetti, kind of like spaghetti, so. I hate it when you spoon it up and then you get these dangling bits and then they flop everywhere. Mmm. Not bad. I feel like it's a bit bland. Maybe I need the soup. Maybe if I pour some of the soup on. Okay, that should make it more flavor, flavorful, flavorsome. That's the annoying thing about noodles. They're so tricky to eat. Oh, yeah, that's quite good. Bit better. I think I put too much water. I don't know why it goes black. Okay, I guess. It's not as great as I remember. I remember it being better. Maybe I didn't make it properly. Oh well. <laughs> 